the great search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Lady to use her power of engineering to help you guys find something on digikey.com using her vast years of experience creating electronics, looking for parts. And this one is kind of internet famous at the moment, the Z. I know. We saw this come around. I was like, oh, this is a good one for the great search because, uh, frankly, I didn't even know you could still buy Z80 chips. But um, so a couple of days ago, uh, April 15th, um, you know, you file your taxes and you find out that the Z84C00 product line is end of life. Yeah, there's still there's still products that are, you know, probably white goods automotive uh, industry that uses a z80 processor um so the there basically is an end of life for um the z80 you know probably because like the wafer foundry the, you know i can only imagine the wafers must be like you know 200 300 nanometer process it must be an incredibly old process and very few chips are using that process and the the places that are making these wafers and processing them are probably like Yo, we're not going to do this anymore. And we actually see this quite a lot. I remember there's there's been a few chips um, that I've seen from, I don't remember which part it was from analog, that they were like, not only not making this chip, but because there was, if you guys remember, like a few years ago, there was, uh, I think, some fires in in Taiwan. I think, was it like in Taiwan? There was a, there was a fire in either Taiwan or um, in the Philippines. And uh, a big foundry was damaged like a big chip a packaging foundry uh, uh factory was damaged and they were like well if we're going to rebuild this factory we're not going to go we're not going to rebuild all the old processes and so um i think xp was also affected a couple couple companies were affected and a couple chips were like hey all of a sudden like we the factory we used to make them is no longer going to be they're not going to rebuild um that old machinery so it's end of line um and also like i can't imagine that Zilog is selling that many uh z80 processors so this was the z84 uh what was cool about it it came in a dip format which is just like so cool and so classic um it is last time by however there are a bunch available um the last time by date is uh sorry oh, i forgot to say mention to go to the computer but yeah this is the z80 z84 c008 uh 8 megahertz processor available in dip they do have like you know a couple thousand available last time buy. A last time buy is when you, you basically if you are using this in a product and you really need you're like look I need three years to transition to you know our our design or if you're like look I want ten years worth of product because I want to finish the end of the product line um, and I am guaranteeing ten years. You can usually put in a request and say hey I want the last ten twenty thousand whatever quantity and then what what. My, Digikey will do is they tell Zilog and Zilog will bundle up all these last time buys and do like, you know, the final run. I will say that during the chip shortage, there were many times in which I put in requests for last time buys and they did not pan out. So um not saying that's going to happen this time, but the last time buy is not guaranteed. It's a request. Uh, there is no guarantee that you'll actually get those chips. Uh, but again, part shortages were a rougher time. That said, um, you know, if we go to embedded, first off, uh, there are Z80 emulators you can get, you know, emulators like, you know, Im implementations for FPGA. So you can, um, you can always uh, mimic it if you need to. Although to be honest at this point, if you can move your chip to something else, please do. But under microcontrollers, um, first off, you can look under this the series, and um, you can see there's Z8, which is probably related, or the core processor. Let's see if that's where Z80 might be mentioned. There's the EZ80. Actually, I didn't see this before. I wonder what that is. Looks like there's a couple other chips. So the EZ80 is probably well, I claim it's it's a similar family, not available in DIP. Um, but it is available and some of these are discontinued, not for new designs. So let's look at ones that are, um, it looks like these are, these are kind of fast. Let's look at active ones. So it looks like the EZ80 F91. These are all going to be, you know, they're big chips. They're LQFP, um, big and they're, you know, they're only eight bit, but, uh, they are available. 
And it looks like they have, you know, they come with peripherals at this point. Um, not USB, but they do have I squared C and RDA. Um, that they do not have a lot of uh, space. So you know, only like 256, you know, ish um, K and 8K of RAM. So these are not big chips. Uh, these are also not 5 volt friendly. So if you're looking for a 5 volt friendly, that's not it. But let's look for other Z80 chips. One thing I'll say is sometimes these microcontrollers are kind of split apart. Um, sometimes they're under microprocessors. So if you look here for the Z80, this is where you'll see like that Z84 series, um, which is last time by. But they also do have some active. So again, if you select active, and you'll see these are available in five volts. So there's a couple of options. Um, this one is six megahertz. This one is 10. Wow, super fast. Uh, both are five volt friendly. They're available in 100 QFP. Let's just take a quick look at this one. Um, but that is one thing I'll say is that, you know, not every chip got discontinued. So this one is still available if you absolutely need a Z80 core. And um, yeah, it looks like uh, Z80, multiple ports. Um, it's a scanned PDF of a hand-drawn data sheet, which is like super cool. And I'm assuming that this must, you know, implement the, the yeah, this implements like the Z80 um, architecture. It's just, it's not going to be a surface mount part. However, you could solder this to a board that then has like 40 pins brought out and like adapted into like the pinout you would expect for a Z80 if you need to upgrade an existing um, Z84C um, chipset. So it's it's possible, but it's going to be more complicated um, than just like having the nice drop-in replacement. That said, you can still get a Z80 processor if you want, especially the Z84. So you know, get that last time by, but you know, you you could theoretically use this chip, and like I said, just make an adapter chip, uh, adapter plate that would plug in, and as long as you have all the peripherals that you are expecting and an amount of RAM and flash, uh, you could program it as is. Um, something actually we did for the Zoxbox, um, we used a 64K flash chip that was DIP. I'm trying, it was the Atmega 64. And then eventually the Atmega, it wasn't enough space. People wanted the Atmega 128. I remember somebody made an adapter that took the TQFP um, Atmega 128 and brought out the pins into the 40 pin, like the, the you know, two by 20 pin, 0.6 uh, inch wide package. And people would plug that into the Zox box, into the socket. So uh, such things are possible, but you can still get active Z80s on DigiKey. So do that last time by, or you can pick up one of these. It's my pick for the great search.